Long Beach, Mississippi. Three surveillance cameras monitor a nearly empty convenience store. A lone clerk is at the register, counting the minutes until closing time. Little does she know her day is far from over. A customer enters. She asks for the clerk's help at the deli counter, which is located near the rear of the store. Meanwhile, another woman has come in, but she isn't really a woman at all. It's a man dressed in drag. The first customer is a cab driver the man hired to drive him for the day. A day spent shoplifting from several local stores. While the clerk helps the cabbie, the transvestite stuffs his pantyhose full of cigarette cartons. He doesn't realize the store owner is watching this event unfold on monitors in the back room. The owner comes out front and grabs a 38 revolver from under the register. Once a weapon is drawn, your adrenaline starts pumping, your nerves go on edge. This is true for an experienced officer, let alone an untrained civilian. The store owner points the gun at the shoplifter and orders him to get behind the counter. The thief stalls, keeping the counter between himself and the armed owner. He starts to unload the loot, but not where the store owner wants him to. While the clerk calls police, the owner keeps the shoplifter covered. When the shoplifter tries to edge past him, the scene quickly escalates out of control. The owner pursues the man outside, leaving the stunned cab driver and clerk on the phone with police. Moments later, the wounded shoplifter crashes the cab. The man is rushed to the hospital. It's been a shocking turn of events, but could it have been avoided? When this cross-dresser decided to go on a shoplifting spree, it was only a matter of time before he met armed resistance. And when he struck the store owner with a bottle, the man was playing with fire. The store owner wanted to protect his property, but pulling a gun may have psychologically committed him to more than he bargained for. What had begun as a shoplifting incident suddenly became a hair-trigger standoff. And once the owner got too close to the shoplifter, tensions exploded with terrifying results. The trigger is rarely pulled just once. Gunplay is an all or nothing situation. And oftentimes, people will empty the entire gun without even realizing it. Charges of manslaughter against the store owner were ultimately dropped. But he will still have to live with the consequence of his actions for the rest of his life.